Biden faces on his reelection effort immigration. Some groups argue lawmakers are fueling fears after the murder of Lake and Riley on UGA's campus last month. Atlanta News first reporter Abby Kasouris joins us live at the state capitol. And Abby, we've seen several immigration bills brought to the forefront since Lake and Riley's death. Those bills expected for a vote here in the full Senate next. And if they pass through the Senate, well, we're likely to see them become law. Those petitions and letters that we saw here today, specifically naming the lieutenant governor and the governor who have supported this push for immigration reform. The immigrant community rallying in the shadow of the Gold Dome. More than 6,000 signed petitions from people calling on the lieutenant governor and senators to vote against the Track Act. The bill would force sheriffs to track the immigration status of every inmate. This bill will invite error, separate families, and distort local law enforcement priorities. Another rally in Cobb County, a so-called sanctuary county, meaning they've enacted policies to be more welcoming to migrants. This country was built on the back of immigrants. Carlos Garcia with the Cobb County Sheriff's Office says building trust with the immigrant community is a public safety issue. But when we marginalize a specific individuals for their legal status, we create an issue for everybody. The Cobb County Immigrant Alliance pending this letter to Governor Brian Kemp demanding an apology. They say he's politicizing Riley's death in order to score political points. Their anger should be directed at Washington, D.C., where we have an administration that has continued to fail in, in putting a good immigration policy in place. State Senator Randy Robertson bringing uh, House Bill 301 to the Senate floor for a vote on Friday. It would punish cities and counties, he says, are illegally harboring immigrants by withholding funding. We have to make sure our mayors, our city council members, our county commissioners are doing the job to make sure they're following state law, federal law, and every other thing that, that is applicable to making the community safe. And here is a look at House Bill 301. It's important to note that it's a zombie bill. Its original purpose was to increase penalties for anyone found passing a school bus. But since that bill deals with public safety, the Public Safety Committee was able to strip the bill, add additional language, and pass it through that committee. We do expect it will be brought to the floor here for a vote tomorrow. So we're going to be watching that closely. Live tonight in Atlanta, Abby Casaurus, Atlanta News First. Tonight